Hi, I'm Dr. Raymond Douglas of Beverly Hills, California. And today I want to talk to you about a problem that many patients come to me for, and that is dealing with prominent eyes. And especially in this particular video, discussing prominent eye decompression surgery. Now, this is a surgery that is um, rather exclusive to patients who are either born with prominent eyes or have thyroid eye disease. But in this particular video, I'm just gonna talk about patients who are either born with prominent eyes or these have developed over time and they don't like the appearance. This is quite common in various ethnicities, but also in people who actually are profoundly nearsighted or who don't have a large cheekbone and their eyes appear relatively prominent and white under their eyes, so to speak. And this is a group of patients that's very hard to do a blepharoplasty or other type of techniques to give them a good aesthetic result. And sometimes the only thing we can do is to move the eyes back a little bit. And in fact, some patients, even when they're born with prominent eyes, can't really close their eyes all well because their eyes are so prominent. So what do we do? Well, the techniques are very similar to what I use for patients with thyroid eye disease, and we do a few hundred of these surgeries each year. But 25% or so of my practice is our patients who don't have thyroid eye disease, but want an improved appearance from this surgery. And there's a variety of techniques that we can use, and they're each customized depending upon the ethnicity, depending upon their eyelid formation and their various creases that they have in their eyelids, and depending on how prominent their eyes are. For example, many of my Asian patients, I don't want to make any skin incisions because you can't hide the skin incision. So all incisions are made from inside the eyelid. For other ethnicities, there's a very defined eyelid crease where I can hide the incision very easily. And when I do these types of surgeries, we can often combine it with a blepharoplasty or other improvements uh, for patients. So what type of decompressions are done? Well, they're either fat or minimally invasive bone decompressions. And some people think that fat is always better. Well, it really depends. When you do a fat decompression, there tends to be a little drop in the globe, and this is great for people with a little white under their eyes, and we can improve this dramatically. But for other patients, we don't want to achieve that. We just want a, a direct axial reduction, meaning that their eyelids are in great position, their eyes are just too prominent. And for these patients, bony decompression or removing just a little bit of bone from that lateral wall often works the best. The recovery really is about the same. The risks are about the same. Both are done as outpatient surgeries in about an hour. And patients typically recover with relatively minimal bruising and swelling over a week to two week period. So I hope that this at least gives some explanation of for what patients can do have prominent eyes and are really seeking an aesthetic result. I hope that this video was useful and please subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about decompression surgery.